if you love dogs and cross-country skiing, this may be the perfect combo. Good job, guys. Woohoo! Jack Steffen is doing something called ski jory here in Jackson, where the dog gets some great exercise and the skier gets a little extra help. The idea is that you have a harness on the dog, a harness on you, and a line between you and the dogs that includes a bungee. Come on, keep on going, keep on going. That's it. Good job. Jack used to do dog sledding, but transitioned to ski joring. While he still does competitions, getting out and seeing nature is part of the thrill. I was ski joring last year with two dogs and came face to face with a moose. That was an adventure. Turns out, one of the best playgrounds for this is all around the Mount Washington Valley. Each winter, there are more than 200 kilometers of groomed trails. It's the, the best that you can find, as far as I know, anywhere in the United States. People have been Nordic skiing around here for decades. But thanks to a coordinated promotional effort, the trails in the Mount Washington Valley have exploded in popularity. I would say Nordic skiing is a great opportunity um, to get and see a lot of the areas that you wouldn't generally see. Barbara Sisson works for Mount Washington Valley Ski Touring and Snowshoe Foundation, which is part of something called the White Mountain Nordic Association. Back in 1983, this promotional group started advertising the major cross-country ski areas near Conway. Today, the six locations boast 400 kilometers of trails and are a major draw for tourism. Bear Notch Ski Touring in Bartlett's, Bretton Woods Nordic Ski Center, Great Glen Trails in Gorham, Jackson Ski Touring Foundation, Mount Washington Valley Ski Touring and Snowshoe Center in Conway, and Purity Spring Resort Cross Country and Snowshoe Reserve in Madison. These areas all offer different terrain at different elevations, different locations, great for all abilities. And so when you make a visit to North Conway for Nordic skiing, you're definitely gonna have a great time, find a great place to ski. And thanks to this massive network of trails, people can ski right out of local hotels and right up to all sorts of fun destinations, from food to craft beer, even a massage. We definitely get people who stop in off the trail and they know they can see from the map that they can just pop in here and get lunch or maybe start here and get breakfast and uh, or get one of our homemade hot cocos. Just off the trails in Conway, you'll find the local grocer. They offer locally sourced organic foods and gifts and they have a wellness center. Inside this old historic carriage house, you can take yoga classes and more. So you can get massage, uh, Thai massage, we have an acupuncturist, a uh, wellness coach. Of the many trailside stops in Jackson, one of the most popular is J-Town Deli and Country Store. The Nordic cross country is, is kind of our lifeline during the winter. So we know when the parking lot is full across the street, we're gonna be inundated here. Skiers will come in for the fresh sandwiches and soup and even a cold beer. You could say it's a hit. Speaking of which, just off the trails in Intervale, you'll find a place that can help you escape the snow. We got courses all over the world, which is great, but I get that request a lot on the weekends. Can you put me in a, a tropical place or just to uh, kind of pretend that you're out of the cold? Jack Wyman runs White Mountain Indoor Golf, where people often park for the Nordic trails. If you want a lesson or just a chance to play golf year-round, this slice of summer will have you green with envy. We have five simulators that have 100 different courses you can play. 
Um, we host leagues, parties, events. Of all the ski up options, perhaps one of the best ways to end your day could be here at Cathedral Ledge Distillery in Conway. Steps from the groomed snow, this organic distillery makes and serves a variety of spirits right on site, from gin to maple liqueur to infused vodkas. And we make whiskey, which is uh, very popular these days. Uh, we make a traditional bourbon, a weeded bourbon, and a rye whiskey. You can park and ski here and take a tour, too. By the way, if skiing isn't your thing, many of these trails are open to snowshoeing and fat biking as well. More reasons to hit the trail and more ways to get to your favorite local business. It's a really unique experience to have a trail system that goes right through the heart of the village, connects restaurants and inns, uh, and so it's a fabulous experience. A lot of people come here just for the cross-country skiing.